Hi friends, welcome to story time. I have a fun new book for us to read together today. First, we've got some shout outs and celebrations for all of the beautiful ways you've been creating caterpillars and butterflies and using materials at home um, to celebrate our reading. Way to go, Kipsters. Go ahead and make sure you've got a comfy space. We'll read the story together and then feel free to pause the video if you wanna see any of the pictures or talk about any of the questions. And then at the end, I'll give you an idea for an activity that you can do later today. Today, we are gonna be reading this book called In the Tall, Tall Grass. And it's all about insects or bugs that you can find in the grass. We've been reading about caterpillars and about how they transform into butterflies, but we haven't really gotten to see too many other insects. So to get your brains ready, think about what do you know about insects? What are some insects that you've seen or that you know about already? I'm thinking that I've seen ants a lot in the park when I've been walking this week, and I know that they are insects that live in the grass. What other ones can you name? Our vocabulary today is insects. An insects is an insect is a small animal that has six legs, it usually has wings, and then it has three body parts: the head, thorax, and abdomen. So they're a little bit different than what other animals look like. But you'll always know it's an insect if you can count six legs, three body parts, two antennas, and two wings. So that's usually the insect test. All right, we're gonna get started and we're gonna read and find out what insects live in the tall, tall grass. Here we go. I'm gonna make my video a little bit bigger so you can see the pages and we'll get started. In the Tall, Tall Grass by Denise Fleming. Oh, I see the first insect here on the front cover. It's our caterpillar. In the tall, tall grass. Crunch, munch, caterpillars lunch. Dart, dip, hummingbirds sip. Hmm, is a hummingbird an insect? No, it's a bird. Strum, drum, bees hum. Can you make the sound that a bee says? Bzzz. Let's see, are bees insects? One, two, three, four, five, six legs, two wings, two antennas, and one, two, three body parts. So bees are insects. Crack, snap, wings flap. Hmm, what do you see on this page? That's right, it's another bird. Pull, tug, ants, lug. Count those legs. Are ants insects? Yep, they have six legs, two antennas, and one, two, three body parts. Ants are super strong, and they can pull things that are much bigger than they are. Slip, slide, snakes, glide. Hmm, are snakes insects? No, they don't have any legs, they don't have antennas. Snakes are reptiles, but they live in the grass sometimes too. Rich, ratch, mole, scratch. Hmm, is a mole an insect? No, it only has four legs. A mole is a mammal, like us. Skitter, scurry, beetles, hurry. Hmm, are beetles insects? Yep, they've got six legs, two wings, and three body parts, and it looks like there's our caterpillar again. Zip, zap, tongues, snap. Hmm, what do you see on this page? It's a frog. Hip, hop, ears, flop. 
Ooh, we've got rabbits on this page, and there's our caterpillar again. Stop, go, fireflies glow. Hmm, we can't really see their legs, but fireflies are insects too. Lunge, loop, bat, swoop. Ooh, it looks like it's turning into night here. Stars bright and moonlight. Good night, tall, tall grass. The end. Thanks for reading that with me, friends. Let's go back to our question and see if you can remember what were some of the insects we found that live in the tall, tall grass. That's right, we saw the caterpillar first. Then we saw bumblebees. We saw ants. Hmm, was the snake an insect? No, there were some animals in here that were tricksters. We learned that insects have six legs, wings, and three body parts. All right, now it's time for our activity today. Your job is going to be to create your own insect. So you can choose your favorite insect. You can think about one you've seen outside or near your house or your park, and then you can create your own. You can use paint, paper, crayons, paper plates, and more. There's some ideas over here and create your own insect. I can't wait to see what you create. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.